Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out today's video. As you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be unboxing as well as demoing the new Fenty Skin Melts Off Jelly Oil Makeup Melting Cleanser. So here she is, she comes in a semi-transparent component so you can pretty much see the jelly product inside. As well as a new dispensing mechanism which is marketed to be long nail friendly. So as you can see on the top, there's this little squishy part. And on the bottom, you'll see the opening cap. So you open the cap up and you squeeze the button-like thing on the top. I'm not sure how to really explain it. You'll see me do it and struggle with it at first. But it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So let's get into the detail. This new cleanser targets dry, stressed, and sensitive skin. It has a unique jelly texture which transforms to a lightweight oil. And it's meant to remove long wear, waterproof makeup, non-stripping, and hydrating. So today I'm going to be using the entire Fenty lineup, which includes the new Hydrating Milky Toner Essence, as well as the Brightening Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. And before I get into actually demoing the product, I just want to say that although this product is marketed towards removing makeup, I am going to be using this on a bare face just to see how it works. What really drew me to buying this product was that it was meant for skin types that are dry, stressed, and sensitive, and that's definitely what I've been struggling lately um, as the seasons are changing from winter to spring. My skin has been extremely dry, literally cracking and flaking, so just the title of a jelly oil cleanser it was so appealing to me i had to get my hands on it and see how it works on bare face i was looking for a new product that would get my skin back into its normal balance and ready for spring so with that let's get into the texture and the smell texture is pretty much just as it's described on the website as well as the name it's pretty much just a lightweight jelly texture as far as the smell goes i can see in the ingredients that there is added fragrance for me, what I'm smelling most is the citrus in the ingredients. So the smell is very light, nothing too overpowering or overbearing. So here I'm just following the instructions on the website that say to massage in a circular motion with your fingertips. Here I'm going in for a little bit more. I was taken a little aback, honestly, because for some reason I was expecting more of a lather. But apparently it's not meant to lather that much and you're supposed to actually use it on dry skin. So being that I'm doing this on a bare skin and not actually removing makeup, I don't think that adding water beforehand really had much of an impact on the efficiency and just getting the cleanser to work. You should also keep in mind that this is a cleanser with oils in it, so you shouldn't really be expecting much of a lather, if anything at all. And whether a product lathers or not really doesn't impact the outcome of how clean of a clean you can get, if that makes sense. So you definitely don't need like a bubble bath's worth of suds to get that really deep clean without stripping your skin of all its essential oils. So as I'm rinsing the product, I can feel my face just feeling super fresh and very moisturized. almost forgot to mention that shea butter is actually one of the key ingredients included in this product. And again, I just want to reiterate how moisturized my skin felt after cleaning it which is not very typical it's when you're starting out with already dry skin and you're cleaning it normally it will feel even more dry after you use a cleanser but in this case my skin was feeling amazing and after using all of the product line i was able to get my skin right back into balance thank you so much for watching today's video if you liked the video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe